Hey, what's going on everyone? We are back here again for another episode of Nature's Beauty. And today, we're going to look at the Skelly Grinder. And maybe getting that set up a little bit nicer. We have started uh, some, as you can see, we have our... Which this is going to be changed uh, to something prettier. I might extend this stone out that way a little bit and I don't know I'm gonna add something to make that look better but this is the water elevator that's gonna bring them up so we're gonna go down here and here's the skelly grinder we kind of wanted it to look like a dungeon room so we used chandelier rings and without the lights and then some chains and kind of just hung them up around the room and then had one kind of attached to the spawner so, hopefully they still spawn a lot with all this stuff hanging around, but we'll see. So, if you've never made a spawner before, or never done uh, any kind of grinders, what you want to do is usually when you find them, this is the floor. So when you came, or when you come into the room, you would see, this is how you would find them, and then there would be a floor all the way around. So what you do is you dig, first of all, light up the room, and then you're going to dig three blocks down from underneath the spawner. So including the floor that they're sitting on, plus two and three, you're going to dig down to. So the fourth block is going to be your floor. And then you're also going to dig four blocks out in all directions. So let's say the torch is one, because it would actually be this whole block here. This would be two, three, and four. So the fifth block is gonna be your wall. So then what you do is you kind of make a trough here in the middle, going down to your elevator. We'll show you that here in a second. You also, let me see if I can get in here. It should be this one, yep. From the very center of this block, so you can actually leave yourself a pillar here if you go eight blocks that way, so it should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is where you're going to put a water source that's going to flow that direction. And you're going to do that all the way across the wall here. So that all the water flows this way. And what it's going to do is reach the in here and stop. So when the skellies spawn, they're going to spawn here and bob a little bit. And then they're going to sit down into this trough here that's also going to have water in it. But it's going to be flowing that direction. And you're also going to do that eight blocks. Six, seven, eight. So they'll get here and they'll fall down one. And then you're also going to add another bucket of water here. So this pushes them into your water elevator. And what happens is, let me show you here. Get rid of this. And then we're going to put some water there. And then we're also going to put a bucket here. So, skellies, um, zombies, all the mobs will naturally bob in the water. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to hit spacebar. So they get pushed down here and hit the second stream. They finally bob underneath this. And then their naturally bobbing is going to lift them up because they're hitting a block of water. And then there's an airspace here. So that way they don't drown. I mean, you could... No, I guess that was from 113. I, was, I keep thinking of 113. That was the soul sand. Anyway... So they're going to bob up here until they reach the top and then they get pushed over and this is doing the same thing. You can make this as long or as short as you want. You just have to make sure that if it's longer than eight, you need to have a system like this where there's a sign holding back this block of water, but that block of water also needs to be on top of a sign so that it flows that way. So you get here and it'll flow them over this way. And then I have it blocked off here because if not, then it would be the water would be pouring down into my little room there. So we're just going to block it here for now so we can get out like this. And then there's our stairway. So we'll go ahead and put this one back. But I realized that I kind of wanted to have a viewing room into there. So having them drop right here in the front is not really going to work for me. So what I'm going to have to do is actually get this to come over and turn and probably drop somewhere over here. So I'm going to have to figure that out, but when I do, I'll show you that. But for now, 
I'm going to try to clear this room out a little bit more here. Get rid of this portal and move it back to the center back part of this room. And see what we can come up with. So I will bring you back whenever I decide what we are going to do. So I'm venturing out trying to find some more vines. So I can make some mossy stone bricks. And I come across this. That looks awesome. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow that water stream up to the very top and see what's all up there. Looks just looks like one huge chunk, or not just a chunk, but yeah, it's pretty big. It's almost like it was ripped out of the ground here, and that's what these spikes are, is remains from the bottom of this. How big is this? Oh, it's a pretty decent size. Maybe we can get a little bit closer. Yeah, that is awesome. Whenever I uh, beat the dragon and get some elytra, that might be a new home base. So yeah, I'm going to go up this water stream here. And then when we get to the top, I'll show you what's up there. Alright, we were almost to the top. Oh, and we almost ended up back down at the bottom. Do I have... I have those, okay. I'm going to need to put something here to catch myself on. So I can get up there, okay. Alrighty, what is up here? Yeah, you guys are going to be stuck up here for the rest of your life. I mean, unless you jump down, and it's almost night time. Oh, there's another one of those floating... Things. Hmm. Let's look around here. Let's see if there's anything, any structures up here. What height are we at? We are at 195. Oh, lag spike. Alright, it doesn't look like there's too much up here. cool. Another one of those floating tree mazes. Huh. And what is this here? Is this just like a little shrine area? Kind of looks like it. At least, were they able to sleep or is it still... No, it's still nighttime. Okay. But yeah, this area here... It is pretty awesome. Oh, they have chickens up here. Rhode Island Reds. Hmm. If they never leave up here, this might be... A new place for a barn. Hmm. Oh, and there's some kind of structure over there. Let's see what that is. Now I'm not sure where it was. Oh, stupid bush. Okay, so there's the floating maze. Where did it go? Oh, I was going the right way, okay. It was just underneath the mountain. That's why I couldn't see it. And it being there, there's no way I'm going to be able to get to it safely should be right down here unless there's a water stream that goes close enough okay I'll go ahead and check out what all's in there it's like a mini castle that has been destroyed all right which water stream is it this one here yeah oh yeah we can we can get over there come on go faster I'm hoping there's some pretty good loot. There's a bed, so I don't have to log off now. I can just grab that and sleep. And there's a few chests. So let's go ahead and jump off here. And then we can actually... Oh, there's vines here. And I did notice, too, that there was vines in that other little structure that was that way. So we're definitely going to have to go back over there and see what 
we can get from that. All right, chest can't get because of this thing in the way. Cobwebs, wonderful. All right, now there's a furnace. There's some bookshelves. Anything in the furnaces? Oh, yes, there is. There's coal, charcoal. What about these here? Nothing, nothing. All right. So let's cut these down. Oh, it's because I'm. I figured out that's why it takes so long. If you're like touching a vine or touching a ladder, it takes forever. Oh, I should be using my shears to break blocks. So let's go ahead and collect these since we need them. Make sure there's no spawners anywhere. No bad guys. about these furnaces nothing nothing all right so this might just be a cool structure that you can kind of fix up yourself there's a little bit of loot in here so I'll go ahead and take that anything underneath the carpet no okay grab these cobwebs now let's go out here into the I guess main part of this village or this tower Oh, this would be the entrance, okay. And we came in through that door, okay. Well, let's see what's in here. Some more cobwebs. And nothing there. Well, if anything, we at least we got some vines out of the out of this, and actually these spider webs will look pretty good in the skelly spawner as well. So we'll go ahead and grab up as much as we can here, and then I think we will head back and finish up the room that we were working on. And it's just dark. Do I have a torch? I do. Let's check these. Oh, there is coal in this one. Charcoal in that one, and nothing in there. That's fine. I'm pretty sure that was all of this place except maybe right up there where that ladder went anything under here no okay and then there's no chest here there's another ladder that is blocked there are bookshelves I could take the books Get rid of that. Let's go ahead and take the books as well, I guess. And we'll head up that ladder. I think there was a few here. Yep. So we can get some enchantments going back home. Okay, this ladder here goes up to the next floor, which is this one here. Just a few more books. I'll go ahead and take them. And then there is one more floor. Right here. Oh, okay. So this might be where the goodies are at. And they're not. Okay, that's fine. But we can take the beds, I think. We'll get rid of the ladders for now. Oh, that's right. Beds don't stack. Is anything cooking? Nope. Have these few last books and these last cobwebs, and then we will be on our way. And we don't have room. Nope. All right, so let's see if we can head back up that water stream and just. Just make sure that there was nothing else up there. Alright, I didn't see anything else that was interesting up here. So we're just going to go ahead and head back down. Bloop. And we can check out that building there on the way back. There will be some vines here, so let me see if I can get rid of anything else. Don't need string or that. And we don't need that. 
this building I haven't seen before. It kind of reminded me of that structure that had the two villagers in it, but... What is this? White terracotta. But it's also kind of like... Another castle? Small little fort? I'm not sure if there's anything hidden inside here, so let's check. This looks like it would have been the entrance, maybe? Hmm, let's climb up here and see. Well, there's a furnace with nothing. Another one. What is that? A peacock. Oh, there's another one. You guys are pretty. Can you show me your, um, are you stuck in the web? Here, I'll help you. I'll better. Oh, what? There we go. Can I see your, can I see your feathers? You're gonna show me or no? That'd be mean. Can I see them? Oh, I'm gonna look at your feathers anyway. What the hell is that? He fell. Oh, well, I'm going to steal your egg. Well, that's probably your nest there. Since you wouldn't show me your feathers. Go home and raise my own baby. And he'll show me his feathers. Or she. Well, no, I guess if it was a girl, she wouldn't have feathers like that, huh? Okay. Nothing else here that I can see. So, let's head back. And finish up this room. Alrighty, we are back. And I found some diamonds, or Sherry found some diamonds when she was mining down here. Which, she's actually here and sh uh, she's up at the Skelly Grinder, so we will meet her in a second. But I went ahead and used the Skelly Grinder to get some enchants. So I have a Fortune 3 pick now with mending. So we're going to go ahead and see how many we get out of here. Let's see, we ended up getting 9 diamonds. That's not too bad. So let's head up top and I'll show you what me and her, her and I, have come up with in the skelly room. I think it looks quite nice. There's still little minor, minor tweaks that we might need to work on. Maybe add some carpet into some of the rooms. Um, maybe some tripwire hooks to look as, um, oh, there's a spider. Stay tight, he won't mess with me. So now this is the entrance. Instead of coming in from the top, we went ahead and kind of made it like a cellar door. So you can't get in there from the top anymore. We've actually blocked it off completely. I still have yet to fix the drop chute. I need to do something with that. And I actually had to bring them back a little bit further to have them drop. So this is all going to have to be changed. But as far as the grinder goes itself, we will go down here. And there is Miss Sherry. Hello, Sherry. Hello. So she has been helping us with the grinder here. And this is what you saw before. We just added the water in. And put the torches up in there so there's a little bit of light. The skellies get brought over. And they drop down right here in this section. So you can just stand here, kill them. And then all their loot gets co collected into these chests here. There is not much in there now because we have been moving everything over to this storage room. We do need to... Might put a few more chains around the place. But we have some bones, uh, some armor that they have dropped, and some arrows. And I believe there's bows here. Yep, some enchanted and some regular. We have also added in a enchantment room. Which, this is the normal enchantment table. And then this one, I believe, was the book enchanter? Yes. So you can put random items in there, like what was it? You can put obsidian in there to get something, or you can do end stone plus a book and some lapis. Do we actually have any of those? Yeah, we have some books here, some lapis. So let's see, what's one that we can do? End stone. So if you click on here, I, and we don't believe you need books bookshelves around this to get it to work. This is pretty much just for decoration. 
But if you go ahead, stick your book in here with your lapis, and then your one, maybe it takes more than one. It takes more than one lapis, that's what it is, okay. So how much does it take actually? Is it three, four, five? So it takes eight lapis in order to get a mending book. So one end stone, eight lapis in a book will get you this. If it's an enchantment that has uh, levels to it, like let's say protect, projectile protection, see how it has level one. If you add more arrows to that, it should increase plus more lapis, I believe. Or at least it did earlier. There we go, okay, I had to reset it. So now you get projectile protection four. Let me see if it's still the same amount of lapis. So is it seven? Eight. Okay, so it does take a whole lot more lapis in order for that to increase in levels. But that's awesome because at least you get to choose what enchantment you want to put on something. So that's definitely going to come in handy. So we have both of those down here. And we moved our portal that was in this room, we decided to put it over there. And I believe that's pretty much it for the skelly grinder here. And show you them popping in here. I'm not sure what our next project's gonna be after this one. You have any ideas? I knew we were gonna do the chickens. Yeah, that that's a good one, and I'd also really want to find a stronghold. Good yes. Weekend. Yep. So maybe that'll be the next thing we do is get our chickens going because they do offer different values depending on what chickens you um, cook. So the Orphingtons will give you haste two, I believe, for two minutes once you cook their meat up and make roast chicken out of them, and then the other ones have different quantities, um, qualities that you can get from them. Same with all the other animals. I believe the horses, they give you the most meat sticks of any of the animals. 20. 20, yeah, that's quite a bit. So we'll have to look into that too. But yeah, I think next we'll do chickens and then we will do finding a stronghold, which we need to get some ender pearls. I'm not sure if we're gonna do that at night or if we're gonna do that through a villager. I found an Enderman spawner last night. Oh, well yes. then. Maybe we set up, hmm, how could we keep them? I don't know, we'll have to figure something out. Maybe, maybe we'll play around with it a little bit and that could be something else that we show is uh, an Enderman spawner that functions just in case anybody else finds it in the game while they're playing. Yeah, it was really cool the way it was spawned in. There was a tree, and it looked like the end was trying to take over the tree. So I dug around a little bit, and there's an Enderman spawner under there. Oh, Pretty nice. Neat. Very cool. All right, guys. Well, that'll be it for at least the Skelly spawner. We may start working on something else in the meantime. So whenever we figure out what that's going to be, I'll bring you back. Actually, I think that's going to be all the time we have for today. One thing I did want to mention with the Skelly Grinder here, and I'm not sure about like maybe zombie spawners or uh, any of the other ones, but we did have an issue where the skeletons were riding on the cows from Animania, and they were getting stuck in the water chute behind here. Uh, so it kind of like defeated the purpose of the spawner. So the way to get around that is if you go to escape, go to mod options and look for Animania, go into there and then hit config and then go to game rules here and where it says allow mob writing, allow random mobs to spawn on Animania animals, you want to turn that to false and then they will no longer ride on top of those animals, which is a huge help. Because, right, like I said, we were having so many problems. We couldn't figure out why cows were spawning in our water chute there. They weren't getting sucked up. They were just they were just appearing. And were, we thought maybe there's a piece of grass 
somewhere near on one of these blocks here that they were going into, or maybe they were. Cool. Whew. Glitching through maybe the corners here. But it turns out it was just because uh, the mobs were riding them. We found that out by. I went inside to get my gravestone. And one of the one one of the skeletons that spawned was actually on a cow, which looked really funny, considering how big the cows are in this mod in the Animania pack. So, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, we are probably gonna, like I said earlier, work on a chicken or Enderman farm next time. That way we can find a stronghold and then get some better quality meat to eat. Even though pineapples are awesome. Uh, I definitely want to be able to have haste too. I don't want to have to wear haste rings all the time. I would like to actually put those as speed and then whenever it's time to mine, eat the chicken. Because right whenever you're not mining, these are pretty much useless. So, but yeah, thanks for watching and we will see you next time. Have a good one.